Welcome to the Live Work Project. The design process of this project begins with redefining the term sustainable, a term which is often thought of as an environmental response. In order to truly create a net zero building, we must expand this paradigm by creating an environmentally, socially, and economically responsible building. The combination of these three core concepts results in a truly sustainable design. The live work concept embodies the social and economic aspects of a sustainable life. With this in mind, the site is divided into three units to accommodate families of two, four, and six people. Located beneath each unit is a commercial space where residents have the opportunity to run a small business, lease the space to a retailer, or let the homeowners association be the landlord. The retail space as a blank canvas could become anything, from a market to a gallery or even a bike shop. The average person splits his or her day between work, home, and sleep. The live work concept is therefore in operation a full 24 hours. Because a complex is in constant use, it uses energy most efficiently. Those who occupy the space have the opportunity to live and work, economically, socially, and environmentally. 24 hours a day. When determining the competition site, it quickly became a choice between two distinct modes of living, rural and urban. The U.S. has experienced a shift in living trends over the course of its history. At the beginning, people lived in urban settings out of necessity. But with the invention of the automobile in the suburbs, people began moving from city centers. However, the U.S. urbanization rate is constantly growing. And now, with nearly 80% of the population living in cities, the selection of an urban site will best fit this growing trend. The combination of live and workspace is a marketable solution for the urban environment that will encourage a sustainable means of living. Athens, Georgia is a vibrant, progressive city that acts as the backdrop to the live-work community. This is an ecosystem that the live-work concept can plug into and immediately benefit from its infrastructure. The close proximity to the University of Georgia lends the site to a wide variety of ages, nationalities, and intellects. Ultimately, the city will act as a catalyst for a new way of living. One of the most important factors when designing a net zero house is climate. Athens, being a part of the South, is known for its humidity. The summers span from May until late September. The winters are shorter, but still mild to moderately cold. Passive heating is just as important as the passive cooling for a residential project in this climate. The basic partee is three residential units. Each unit is oriented to directly face Washington Street. The ground level retail space is stepped back from the street, while the second floor residents extend to the edge of the property line in a gesture to follow the angle of Athens downtown context. A subtractive process was then applied which resulted in a shell that would ultimately hold the program. The program consists of retail, shared spaces for the laundry and fan rooms, living spaces with the necessary amenities, vertical mechanical chases, and circulation space to connect the two floors. The initial program formed the structural concept. The architecture of the two volumes must be articulated differently to reflect their inherently different programs. A transparent ground floor creates a more inviting and flexible space and by pushing back the perimeter of the ground floor, dominance is restored to the living zone above. A simple steel structure is used here because steel can be reclaimed, recycled, and disassembled. The ground level is dedicated to retail space, with the exception of the six-person unit. In this unit, there is a bedroom on the ground level as well as the living and kitchen area, so the whole family can come together in this space. The ground level also houses a carport for a shared electric vehicle and plenty of outdoor gathering space. The second level is all private, residential space. The units are laid out similarly to one another, with the kitchen and living areas along the south facade, and the bedrooms in the northern part of the building. Each unit has one or more private decks. The deck on the south facade is along a busy street, therefore a screen provides privacy. The six-person unit is designed with more living space, as well as an outdoor covered deck. All spaces were planned with optimal natural lighting in mind. The vertical circulation brings light into the space and also acts as a clear means to enter and move around the units. A section through the building is taken from east to west. The section starts to describe the building in layers, private, public, 
structure, and envelope. The building is insulated with sheep's wool, which contributes to an R value of 34.5 for the typical wall section. The envelope was carefully designed to ensure no thermal breaks in the insulation. This continuous insulated perimeter will reduce demand on the active heating and cooling strategies. To articulate the project's passive and active sustainable strategies in a single architectural move, an external framework was designed. This framework is set off from the primary structure and houses a photovoltaic array, a water collection system, a shading system, and a green screen. The first decision to be made when choosing a photovoltaic or PV array is whether to store the energy on site in a battery or link directly to the regional power grid. The use of the battery assures that all energy produced on site will be used by the residents. The option to link to the grid is considerably more convenient and reliable. By supplying power to the grid, the live-work residents will receive payment from the utility company for months where more energy is produced than consumed. In this case, linking to the grid is the better choice. How many panels to achieve net zero? The first step is to estimate the yearly energy loads of these specific units. Calculating the wattage and usage of items such as lighting, HVAC, kitchen appliances, and even cell phone chargers brings us to the energy load of 39,914 kilowatt hours per year, divided by 365 days, divided by 4.7 hours of sunlight per day, multiplied by a wasted energy factor of 1.25, multiplied by 1,000 to convert to watts, and finally divided by 250 watts, which is the wattage of each individual panel. This results in 95 panels to reach net zero. There's enough room for 170 panels, which has the potential to produce 179% of the energy needs. The additional percentage of energy will bring a significant income and help pay off the system in 13.2 years. Located beneath the PV array rests the basin. Water filters through the PVs and is collected in the basin. This water is channeled through a mechanical shaft to an underground cistern. The units can use this collected water for non-potable applications. Several elements protect the southern facade of the units. An overhang extends protecting against steep summer sun angles, while in bloom, a green screen prevents summer sun from entering the space. In the winter when the vegetation is dormant, solar radiation is allowed to passively heat the living space. A double glazing system is implemented to control the amount of passive heating. Solar energy is trapped between the two panes of glass and slowly radiates into the space. If this is undesirable, a damper at the top of the chimney allows the heat to evacuate, protecting the interior spaces from an unwanted change in temperature. The growth of urban communities and the progressive nature of Athens, Georgia create a prototype for a new way of living. Sustainability is combining program to be the most efficient it can be. It is supporting local businesses and creating an environment to walk and bike around. Sustainability is a combination of being socially, economically, and environmentally respectful all day, every day. Athens is a catalyst to this type of living. With all the environmental strategies in place, the Liver community will not only encourage its inhabitants, but also the surrounding city of Athens to be conscious of the environment. This is truly a net zero community. As the architects of Live Work, we encourage you to live and work economically, socially, and environmentally 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm.